a, a welfare standard is the standard you use to determine whether conduct is lawful. And in the consumer welfare standard, you look at the impact of a merger or a business practice on consumers. Will they be better off or worse off? Will they experience higher prices and lower levels of service and less innovation? Or will they get the benefits of robust competition, lower prices, higher quality, more innovation, more choice? And those who criticize the consumer welfare standard, I think are doing so not necessarily because they take issue with the standard. I think there, there is a concern about greater concentration, more monopolization in the United States. Uh, if you take a close look at the statistics and the data that they're using, you will see that there's a lot of gerrymandering and there are a lot of issues with the data. But they are attacking the consumer welfare standard as a way of essentially lowering the bar for the kinds of mergers that get challenged and the kinds of conduct that get challenged. And they are incorrectly characterizing the application of the consumer welfare standard by saying it only takes into account price. And, and that's just not accurate. We have dozens and hundreds of cases that show the consumer welfare standard takes into account a lot of non-price factors. What's the quality like? What is choice going to be like? How will innovation be affected? And you know, frankly, I think the consumer welfare standard has done a really great job of guiding us in terms of enforcement. And I, I would hope that the consumer welfare standard weathers this latest attack.